This Marathon Runner story is brought to you by Crosstown Pub and Grill, a top destination by Travel Channel and Chicago's best programs. Many participants in today's race are new to marathons altogether, like Aurora resident Brett Ward, who has returned to the running world, losing 100 pounds in the process. I used to be a runner and I ran in college and I took uh, 20 years off of running and I decided to start running again to, to lose some weight and uh, then uh, just sort of became a uh, really uh, fun thing to do again running and so I decided what the heck, let's sign up for a marathon. So when he heard that a marathon would be coming to Naperville, he jumped on board. It's, you know, close to home and, uh, you know, it's run by the people who do the Fox Valley Marathon, I think, and, and I've only heard good things about that particular marathon, and so it's going to be a, a really exciting and awesome thing to do something so close to home. Fellow first-timer and Lyle resident, Marianne Pritchett, knew she wanted to do a marathon, but didn't want the large crowd experience of the one in Chicago. So the convenience of a closer, smaller event appealed to her. I'm a late bloomer runner. I started in my 50s. I just turned 60 and I thought, on my bucket list, got to do a marathon. I live in Lyle. It's close by and I didn't want the 40,000 crowd for Chicago. And I thought this would be a great experience to, to do one. Both Brett and Marianne have been training every Saturday for the past 17 weeks with staff at Naperville Running Company. That whole process gets you ready, mentally, physically, even emotionally. And you have to think about nutrition, you have to think about so many different aspects of building that strong body in order to get to the start line. It's going great so far. I'm so glad that I joined a running uh, group for Saturdays because that has really helped me a lot. They give us lots of helpful um, information, so it definitely does help. Naperville Running Company also has trained pacers like Bob Curran who can help these first timers not just with keeping pace but also with conditioning and dieting. Finishing your first marathon literally is a life changing experience and I just um, I'm looking forward to being part of that with many people. Brett and Marianne hope to inspire others who may be considering trying their first marathon sometime to go for it. Just uh, set yourself a goal, whether it's uh, you know three hours or six hours or eight hours, doesn't matter, set, set yourself a goal and, and uh, you can do it. It's just putting one foot in front of the other. It's, uh, it's a lot easier than it, than it really seems to be. If you have that desire or that little inkling, just go for it because um, I was a former couch potato and I just, something just clicked and you just gotta do it, just gotta do it. I'm Kevin Maycheck for Naperville Community <laughs> Television.